we teach the 1619 project because that's when we went to England to the town of Hull and bought a bunch of human beings whom the British brought from Africa to bring here to sell to us to the, for the slave trade. That's when we study black people? No, we should be studying black people from 10,000 years ago. But teachers will say, well, that's prehistorical. That is the truth. We need to teach the truth. The first black people who came here were not brought here as slaves. They came here as discoverers and explorers between 20,000 and 10,000 years before Columbus was born. He hidden reason why 99.9% .9 of black American DNA is so unique. They told us we were just descendants of slaves. They told us our story began in chains. They told us we were brought here with nothing, stripped of history, stripped of culture, stripped of identity. But what if I told you that was never the full story? What if I told you that the truth, the real truth was buried in your blood? Because for decades, scientists quietly ignored the one group whose DNA could change everything we thought we knew about humanity African-Americans. Not just African, but African-American. Descendants of the enslaved, the displaced, the erased. And when researchers finally cracked the code, they were stunned because African-American DNA didn't just connect to Africa. It connected to the beginning, the beginning of everything. This isn't science fiction. This isn't conspiracy. This is genetic fact. And what makes this so powerful, so world shattering, is that they tried to hide it for centuries. What's good, family? Welcome back to Chronicles of Blacks. If this is your first time here, this is where we uncover the truths they don't want you to know, where we dig into the science, the history, and the receipts that prove we are not who they said we were. If you're tired of the lies, if you're tired of being told you came from nothing, if you're ready to learn the truth about your DNA and your legacy, then you're in the right place. Go ahead and hit that like button right now. Smash that subscribe button. Turn on notifications because we're dropping knowledge bombs regularly and you don't want to miss a single one. And if you want to support the work, check out the merch link in the description. We got shirts that celebrate your ancestry. All right, let's get into it. So here's the fact stack. Let me lay out exactly what scientists have discovered about African-American DNA. In the year 2003, the Human Genome Project was completed. This was a massive international research effort to map every single gene in the human body. And what they discovered was groundbreaking. They found that all humans share 99.9% .9 of the same DNA. But here's where it gets interesting. That 0.1% difference, that tiny fraction, contains massive amounts of information about where we come from, who our ancestors were, and how we survived. And when scientists started studying that 0.1% in African Americans, they found something they didn't expect. African Americans carry the most genetically diverse DNA ever recorded in modern humans. Let me break that down. Genetic diversity means the number of variations in your DNA. The more variations you have, the older your lineage is. Think of it like rings in a tree. The more rings, the older the tree. So when scientists started sequencing the DNA of African Americans, who are descendants of multiple West, Central, and even East African lineages, they found millions more genetic variations than in people from anywhere else on Earth. In other words, we weren't just old. We were ancient one landmark study from Harvard University found that a single African American person could have more genetic variation than entire populations in Europe. Another report from Nature Genetics revealed that up to 80% of African Americans carry unique segments of DNA that don't even appear in standard global databases. These sequences are literally invisible to modern science because they're that old, that rare, and that specific to African descended people. Now let me connect this to something even deeper. You've probably heard of mitochondrial Eve. She's the woman whose DNA every single human alive today can trace their ancestry back to. But what they don't tell you is this. She was an African woman and not just any African. Genetic studies show she likely came from regions like Southern and West Africa, the very regions where most African Americans trace their roots. So when people joke about black don't crack, they don't even realize it's in the genes. Because African Americans don't just carry the blood of survivors, we carry the foundation of the entire human race. We are not the end of history. 
We are the beginning. We are the story of people who didn't just survive. We are the people who built. We are the people whose DNA carries the fingerprint of humanity's first breath. Now, here's where it gets even more fascinating. Let me set up a clip for you. Scientists have been studying African-American DNA for years, and what they've discovered is that our genetic makeup is not just diverse, it's resilient. There are genetic markers in Black Americans that trace back over 200,000 years, twice as far as the oldest known European lineages. Another study showed that a single African-American man carried more genetic variation in his Y chromosome than all of Western Europe combined. Think about that. One black man, more genetic diversity than an entire continent of white people. Let me show you a clip that breaks this down. In the video, a researcher explains, African-Americans are walking libraries of ancient memory, genetic time capsules. Every human on earth carries some version of African DNA, but no one, not a single group, has the unique combination of ancient bloodlines, tribal mergers, and survival adaptations that exist in African Americans. We're not just part of the tree, we are the roots. Here's the verdict. They lied to us. They told us we were nothing. They told us we were broken. They told us we were the product of tribes who sold each other. They told us our history started with slavery. But DNA doesn't lie. And now the science is catching up with what we've always known deep down, that we come from something greater, that we are something greater, that our blood carries the memory of empires, of kingdoms, of civilizations that existed before Europe even knew what a city was. This is not just history. This is your origin story. This is your legacy. And it's time you knew the truth. Now let's talk about the hypocrisy reveal, because this is where it gets really interesting. For centuries, the Western world painted Africa as a dark, backward continent, a place of savagery and suffering. And Black Americans, we were portrayed as the afterthought of that narrative, a broken branch of a broken people. But now DNA is rewriting the script, and a new story is emerging. It says, Black Americans are not just survivors of slavery. We are walking libraries of ancient memory, genetic time capsules. Every human on earth carries some version of African DNA, but no one, not a single group, has the unique combination of ancient bloodlines, tribal mergers, and survival adaptations that exist in African Americans. The same scientists who spent centuries measuring our skulls, claiming we were inferior, claiming we had lower intelligence, claiming we were less evolved, those same institutions are now discovering that our DNA is the oldest, the most diverse, the most complex on the planet, and they're quiet about it. They're not putting this on the front page. They're not teaching this in schools. They're not making documentaries about it. Because if people knew the truth, if people understood that black Americans carry the genetic blueprint of humanity, then the entire narrative of white supremacy collapses. Let me connect this to the system, because this isn't just about science. This is about power. This is about control. This is about narrative. For centuries, the story of black people has been controlled by white institutions. They wrote the textbooks. They funded the research. They decided what got published and what got buried. And what they buried was the truth about African DNA, about African civilizations, about African contributions to the world. They buried the fact that Africans were navigating oceans while Europe was still figuring out basic agriculture. They buried the fact that Africans built universities in Timbuktu while Europe was burning witches. They buried the fact that Africans had complex legal systems, advanced mathematics, and thriving trade networks while Europe was stuck in the Dark Ages. And they buried the fact that African DNA is the source code for all of humanity. Why did they bury it? Because if you know where you come from, if you know who you are, if you know that your ancestors were kings and queens and scholars and builders, then you can't be controlled. You can't be oppressed. You can't be convinced that you're inferior. Knowledge is power. And they've been keeping that knowledge from us for centuries. But now, thanks to DNA research, thanks to independent scientists, thanks to people who are willing to challenge the narrative, the truth is coming out and it's undeniable. It's in the data. It's in the genes. It's in the blood. 
Now let me give you a human anchor, because this isn't just about abstract science. This is about real people. There are African Americans right now who are taking DNA tests and discovering that they carry genetic markers from ancient African kingdoms. They're discovering that their ancestors were Yoruba priests, Mandinka warriors, Fulani scholars, Akan traders. They're discovering that their blood connects them to empires that ruled for thousands of years. And for the first time in their lives, they're understanding that they didn't come from nothing. They came from everything. There are students who are learning this information and finally understanding why they've always felt a deep connection to Africa, why they've always felt like there was more to their story than what they were taught in school. There are elders who are hearing this and crying because they always knew deep down that the story they were told wasn't the full truth. This is real. This is happening. This is the awakening. Let me give you a moral audit because we need to check this against a higher standard. The Bible says in Psalm 139 verses 13 through 14, For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb, I will praise thee. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your DNA is not an accident, your ancestry is not a mistake, your existence is not random. You were designed with purpose. You were created with intention. And the fact that your DNA carries the oldest, most diverse genetic code on the planet is proof that you are special. You are chosen. You are the foundation. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Here's the community charge. Black family, this is for you. Learn your DNA. Take a test. Discover your roots. Connect with your ancestry. Because knowledge of self is the first step to liberation. When you know where you come from, when you know who your ancestors were, when you know that your blood carries the memory of empires, you walk differently, you talk differently, you move differently, you can't be shaken, you can't be broken, you can't be convinced that you're less than because you know the truth and the truth will set you free. But don't stop at just knowing. Teach your children, pass down the knowledge, Make sure the next generation understands that they are not the product of slavery. They are the descendants of kings and queens. They are the carriers of ancient wisdom. They are the roots of the human family tree. Build institutions that preserve this knowledge. Support black scientists. Support black historians. Support black educators who are doing the work to uncover and share the truth. Because the mainstream institutions are not going to do it for us. We have to do it ourselves. And let me say this, don't let this knowledge make you arrogant. Don't let it make you think you're better than other people. That's not the point. The point is to understand that you are equal, that you are valuable, that you are worthy, that you have always been worthy. The point is to reject the lies that were told about you and embrace the truth that was hidden from you. The point is to walk in your full identity, your full power, your full purpose. Because when you do that, when you step into who you really are, you become unstoppable. All right, family, that's all I got for you today. If you made it this far, drop a comment and let me know what you think. Have you taken a DNA test? Did you discover anything surprising about your ancestry? I want to hear from you. Also, we go live every Thursday through Saturday for disagreement days. If you disagree with anything I said, call in and we'll talk about it. The number's on the screen. Otherwise, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the merch and I'll see you in the next one. Stay strong, stay woke, and remember, you didn't come from nothing. You came from everything. Your DNA is proof. Your blood is proof. Your existence is proof. They tried to erase you, but they couldn't. Because you are the roots. You are the foundation. You are the beginning. And no matter what they say, no matter what they do, no matter how hard they try, they can never take that away from you, peace.